Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Ratchet Electors. And today I'm doing a pickup video, much like my other pickup videos, to showcase what I've been picking up off of eBay and loose lots and off of EB Games and a whole bunch of other stuff that I've been picking up and playing or just picking up and replacing certain elements in my collection that I have may have loose and stuff like that. So I like to have it complete like much other collectors do. So I try to pick up stuff if I can find it on eBay and EB Games or whatever and piece together a good collection. So two of the games that I've picked up from the Sega Genesis library is because I had them loose. I never had complete versions of them. So when I saw them on my shelf, I wanted them complete. And that is Sonic 2 and Sonic Spinball. Two games that I, I was able to grab off of eBay for like, I think $10 shipped actually from eBay from a local vendor in here in Canada. And it was a, a great purchase. This is the not for sale version of Sonic 2. And this is exactly what I had when I first had my Sega Genesis. It was a not for sale because it came with Sega Genesis Model 2, which was Sonic 2. Next, I went to my local honey hole and when I go there, I'm actually surprised at what they typically do have at any particular time. And when I was there, I found this Asura's Wrath. I've heard, I've looked at some reviews. I heard it's not that great of a game. It's like, it's a lot of quick time events where you're just basically mashing a button for something to happen on screen. I never not liked quick time events. To me, it's an interactive cinematic event that I can actually control and do something. The shame is that apparently this game has that in abundance. It's not just here or there. It is pretty much into the entire game. The graphics do look good and I want to give it a try. And I actually saw something on a YouTube channel. I don't remember what it was where they did one of the biggest bosses in comparison of size. So, you know, they had Bowser in comparison to a human being and so on and so forth. And apparently one of the bosses in Asura's Wrath at the end of the game is like God level and he's massive and he's in this game. So I wanna actually see that, so it's pretty cool. Next up is a game that I'm actually very late to the party to get. 2016 came and went and Doom came and went and I'm glad I was able to grab this. I got this super cheap. I think I paid like $5 for it and I'm about halfway through the story. I'm enjoying it. I just don't like the backtracking of go get this key card and I'll go back to open this door. And I'm not a fan of backtracking per se. I just like to just go on and, and fast travel if need be. It is a fun game nonetheless. Very gory, very, very fun. I'm really enjoying it right now. And with Doom out of the picture, there is another game that's added to another backlog and that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Right now I'm about, I think about five missions in and I'm playing this. The graphics are amazing. Multiplayer is spotty at best. As a veteran Call of Duty player, I guess I consider myself because I've played pretty much all of them. It is a fun game, but there are some elements that are taken out, like the mini map, it's not where it's supposed to be. Footsteps were a lot louder than they were on past games. They've kind of toned it down since this recent update, but it is still missing bits and pieces to make this a very, very good Call of Duty. This is one of the best ones I've played in recent years. Black Ops 3 and 4 didn't do it for me, at least story-wise. I didn't like that jumping, the rocket jumps too much. I like the boots to the ground. This is a great addition. I'm actually liking the story so far. It's pretty, pretty interesting and it looks fantastic. Next is one of my favorite games of all time. It's in the top three and that's Ocarina of Time. And unfortunately, this isn't the version I'm talking about. My favorite one is on the N64, but this is an amazing port. They smoothed out the graphics. They made it look a lot better. The graphics look so much cleaner. They used a lot of the touchpad, move items to certain elements of the screen or button presses that are on the N64 as button presses. Now they're on screen, you can just touch them, which isn't too bad. I do really, really like this game. I think I'm just before the Zora's Domain and I'm playing this and I'm liking this. I'm taking this on vacation. I'm going to Cuba real soon and I'm taking this and the next game coming up as well. And that's Octopath Traveler. I have mixed feelings about this game. When I first played it, it was really, really good. I enjoyed it, the graphics, the story, the gameplay, the braking system, the combo system. I, I really did enjoy this game. 70, almost 80 hours in, it's weighing very thin on me. It's a little bit too slow for my liking. I wanna push through this. I'm on the chapter four of all the characters and I'm just starting my first one 
Alfin is one of the characters that's in the game and I'm on his first chapter. I chose Cyrus as my main and I'm going through all the other characters. And right now, like I said, it's it's a good game. I just want this game over with so I could move on to something else because like I said, the backlog, you get a new game, a backlog consumes yourself. And this game is part of this backlog and the reason why the backlog has gotten so big. I don't want to start another game and not finish this one or I don't want to start another game and not finish Doom and and right now, my OCD is all over the place because I don't know what to play. It is a good game. I found that it's pretty cool that all the characters in the game spell the name Octopath. And the next two games are Dreamcast games. In case you guys didn't know, I am a Dreamcast collector. That is brand new information! I am going for a complete Dreamcast North American set. Right now, I'm not going for any of the greatest hits. One of the ones I got is Virtual Striker 2. I had this when I first had my Dreamcast looked amazing i just didn't like the arcade feel of gameplay i'm more of a fifa style player where it's more simulation style where it's more realistic it's a good game i didn't like the camera angles i felt they're too tight nonetheless it is a nice game to add to the collection and it's pretty clean when i got it off of ebay so i'm glad to have that into the collection and last but not least is a game that i've been eyeing since i first started collecting the dreamcast it was something that i wanted right away just because the price was just going to skyrocket from there and that's mars matrix i was able to grab this super not cheap but at a modest price that i felt comfortable with i was selling a lot of stuff on ebay and from what i grabbed and what i sold and what i bought I'm really happy to add this into this collection. This is a shoot 'em up that is really difficult, at least for me. It has a pretty cool upgrading system where you collect coins or uh, currency and you could use that currency to upgrade or even change little elements in the game. So if you unlock currency and you save it and it goes into your bank and you could use that currency to unlock more and more things. It's so much fun. I, I'm really, really enjoying this. Like I said, I'm 61 away from a full set. And once I'm there, I don't know where I'm gonna move on to. I'm probably gonna move to the N64, but I'm sticking to the Dreamcast. I'm gonna do a lot more videos on the Dreamcast. If you guys are subscribed just for Dreamcast content, don't worry, I am gonna go back to the Dreamcast content sooner or later. I just wanna keep everybody happy and make content for everybody. So if you've subscribed for Dreamcast content, please do not unsubscribe. I will jump back to that. I just wanna get some of these other things that I've been working on in my backlog of video producing out of the way so I can go back and then maybe hit them again in the near future. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. If you guys picked up anything cool, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys.